Hello, welcome to this video where I'm filming it in portrait mode instead of landscape. Even though this isn't going to be a uh, short video, so obviously the YouTube shorts and shorts in other formats are filmed this way. But I'm just holding my phone like this because why not? So thought I'd uh, just make a quick video to say hi, how are you all? Hope you're all well. It's been a while since I've made a video just chatting about nonsense, about my life, what I'm doing. Uh, so, let's see. Social life. Eh, don't really have one right now. I uh, did briefly. I uh, made a couple of videos. Um, that's kind of uh, on pause for the moment. But, you know, we'll see. Hopefully things will pick up again and I'll start hanging out with people again going back to Surrey uh, in a couple of weeks since the friends there maybe I'll make a vlog of that I don't know probably will it's all people all the people that actually want to see me are actually all people that have appeared on this channel in the past so none of them will really care if I get the camera out and start filming so that'll be good I'm only going to be in Surrey for one day because I'm it's I'm stopping off my way somewhere else but I thought if I'm going past here I might as well just stop off I keep putting it off I mean I've been wanting to head back there for a while but I keep saying oh, I don't have the money I don't have the money and uh well, I really I still don't have the money work is going all right self-employed carer or micro provider customers come and go I mean I made a video about being a micro provider a while ago several of the people that I looked after when I made that video have actually died not because of me just want to clarify it was just their time you know people come and go you get customers customers which you know once paid a lot of money if they don't need you as much for various reasons you know you don't get as much money from them so it comes up and down that's the nature of being self-employed though i'm sinking into this mud every step i take look at how deep my footprints are it's ridiculous where's the camera there we go. Unfortunately, I can't actually, uh, on, on my phone, I can't switch from front view to rear view. I'd actually have to physically stop the video, change the camera around, and then stick it together and edit, and I can't be bothered with that. I think I'm going to edit this video a little bit, though, because I am waffling. I haven't actually done this walk in a long time, actually. Um, I used to uh, come this way quite a lot, but, uh, yeah... I thought I would. Behind those clouds is the most epic sunset you've ever seen. Unfortunately, I'm on this side of the cloud, so uh, I can't see it. But there we go, never mind. I'm still enjoying my job. I'm still enjoying the freedom to choose when I work and where I work. Um, but, so it is, uh, it's just the nature of the job. People come and go. People either die or the contract comes to an end or whatever. I've decided I'm never ever picking up another cleaning job. I'm not a cleaner. When I started out, um, I was picking up some cleaning jobs just because I needed the money. But no, I'm not a cleaner. I don't enjoy cleaning. And I find people just don't appreciate you. It's like doing my care job. You know, everyone says how wonderful I am and they all love me and I'm brilliant and blah, blah, blah. When it comes to cleaning jobs, they're just horrible people. Just selfish. You know, nothing's ever right. Even though actually when I do actually pick up a proper care job, and a lot of care is basically cleaning anyway, and they all say how wonderful I am and how good I am at what I do. When it's a dedicated cleaning job, it's like, hey, I'm going to be a bitch and tell you everything's wrong and blah, 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 blah. So I shut the fuck up. I don't need this hassle. So yeah, um, no more cleaning jobs ever again. Big respect to people who actually do cleaning because honestly, some of the people out there, when I picked up the cleaning jobs, it was the people who can't clean for various reasons because of Maybe they're old or they're disabled, so it would kind of be like a bit of a, a caring job anyway. 
But uh, no, uh, they're, they're just, they're the kind of people where you just can't do anything right. So I have a lot of respect for people who actually do cleaning jobs for a living and actually go into people's homes and just get constant bullshit. I couldn't handle that. And people say they couldn't do my job. I mean, looking after people, it's piss easy when you know what you're doing. Uh, you just, you know, get on with it. And they appreciate you so much better. It's like you're going to people's homes to look after them and they appreciate you. And it makes you actually want to carry on going. They're so thankful. Anyway, that's enough about work. I bought myself a telescope. Right now, I haven't really mastered it yet. It's um, like on an electric gimbal. I tried it once, but I can't get on with eyepieces. So I've got a camera to go on it, which linked to my laptop. Oh my God, this is slippery. So the mud is really slippery right now. Normally, you only think right down there. By the time you get to this bit, this bit is usually pretty firm, but I'm, I'm sinking even here, which is weird. Anyway, so, and also that there's not a lot of planets signed at the moment. And obviously, I mean, it's, it's quite late at the moment. It's, uh, I don't know what the time is. It's gone eight o'clock. It's, uh, hang on. It's eight, no, yeah, it's 9.15 in the evening. And you can see, so not brilliant for astronomy, unless like you're a fucking expert, you know what you're doing. I don't. By expert, I just, I, I don't mean like professional. I mean, I'm amateur, but an amateur that knows what they're doing. Whereas I don't. I don't have a clue. I'm learning. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, having astronomy as a hobby when you suffer with fatigue is a bit dumb. Because the one time I did try using a telescope, it took me like three days to recover. So, uh, but anyway, it's fine. But so there's no planets around at the moment. Anyway, they're all um, all fucking over there somewhere behind the sun. So you know, as it turns into night time, they're going to be over there on the other side of the Earth. Got to wait until autumn, winter for them to actually be visible, which should be fine because then they'll get darker skies and uh, be darker earlier, so I don't have to stay up all night. So that'll be good. Hopefully, I'll make some videos of that, get some good shots. Um, there's loads of tutorial videos online. I won't make, ever make a tutorial video because I've been watching tutorial videos myself. Big cliff. You can't really appreciate how, how high up that cliff is from this video. But it is, it is quite tall. Appreciate it. Can you see the sea? I know this camera's not brilliant at that, is it? No. Anyway, there's one other set of footprints on here. These are fresh prints. I know they're fresh prints because the tide's only just gone out. It wasn't that long ago this, you wouldn't have been able to walk on here. So the fact that there's prints here mean that they couldn't have been laid that long ago. I like it here. I would try and show you how peaceful it is, but the little camera on my phone is not doing this. this this justice at all, it doesn't do it justice. It really doesn't. Really, really doesn't. So yeah, that's uh, basically an update on my life. Not a lot really, to be honest. Yeah, that's why I don't make vlog videos anymore, because I don't do anything. I did make a, a cooking video the other day that went spectacularly wrong, so I'm not gonna uh, show that. Where's the moon? The moon, where's the moon? There's the moon. That looks pretty cool there, above the cliff. Can I zoom in? I can't zoom in on this mode. That's a bit rubbish. I used to go around with my big camera all the time. It's quite bulky and chunky. And I just figured, you know, this camera's adequate. I mean, it's not as good. I mean, my other one, obviously, can pick up the colours better. And it would be able to zoom in on the moon. But, I mean, look at that. That looks pretty fucking spectacular in real life. Like shit on the screen. I actually do have a video ready to go at the moment, but I can't upload it because I got no internet. BT effect up. Um, yeah, our internet's died and they're supposed to send us out all the new equipment, 
that new router and these new Wi-Fi disk things that they do to guarantee coverage. They were supposed to send that all out last week and they didn't. So it's, now it's supposed to arrive this week. So, I mean, I'm filming this on, what day is it? It's Monday, but I ain't uploading this until I get internet. So who knows what day this will go out? Uh, I don't know. I say the, the equipment's supposed to arrive on Wednesday. So uh, if I get it all set up on Wednesday evening, if it arrives, uh, then I'll upload my video for uh, Bossington Beach. It's just a short video going down to the beach. I'm not even talking in it. Then I can upload this. So this will probably go out on Thursday. That's if the equipment arrives. It might not even arrive. We'll see. We shall see. Anyway, I'm just going to go and sit on the rocks for a bit and chill. Obviously not near the cliff. Wouldn't go near the cliff. Dangerous. The cliff down there is falling down. It's quite bad. The cliff here apparently is shifting, but I think it's pretty fucking stable. Here, this cliff, if you go near it, you can hear bits falling down all the time, like um, pattering down tiny little flecks of rock. No, no, they never stop falling. Then you've got like, a huge boulder there. So uh, obviously that fell down at some point. Wouldn't want to be under that. There's another boulder over there. So yeah, they, they, they does fall down. So when I say I'm going to go and sit on the rocks, it'll be a respectful distance from the cliff because I'm not an idiot. I mean, it's not likely to go right now, but at the same time, you know, do you want to chance it? No one knows I'm here. No one's likely to come by here. I've got bug, bugger all phone signal here. So if I was to go there and a rock fell on me, well, they, they say if you dial 999 or 112, the phone's supposed to be able to connect regardless. But I don't know, I never have signal here. Um, so no one knows I'm here. It's getting dark. The tide is on its way in. I mean, the tide is on its way out, but it will come back in before sun, sunrise and people will start walking through here again. So if I was to get crushed, I would stay there all night. The sea would come in, wash my body away, and I'd never be seen again, and no one will know what happened to me. Yes, I ain't doing that. But I am also going to just go and sit on these rocks and watch the sea because it's relaxing. And I've got a little torch. Got a little, here we go. It's part of my bag. Do that. Beep. There we go. So I can see where I'm going. It's quite handy because I don't have to hold it. I actually ordered a, a red torch so that uh, I could set up my telescope and not lose my night blindness. And I accidentally ordered this one, which you can see is not red. But I do have a red torch now. So, uh, right, anyway, I'm going to chill. Right, I'll see you later. Bye.